Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper and Corner. We have Pump4, newcomer to BSL, I assume. Not sure if he is played, asking if it's best of one, best of three. It is best of one, upper right hand corner as the Grey Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have Advil starting as the Brown Terran. This is going to be BSL Season 15 Hasu League. I feel like this is the only full group I'm going to get out of the round of 16. I believe it is full grouping. This is going to be on Vermeer. And I'm guessing that there's a lot of lag in this match because you have Peru in Pump 4, the rare Peruvian Zerg, going up against Advil, who is Hungarian. So on complete opposite sides of the globe, I would expect Ping in this particular matchup to be a little bit rough. And we'll see if that plays any factors. I feel like in the TVZ matchup, it affects Mutalist Micro more than anything. I could see in an adjustment to mech play where it would affect something like Goliath pathing, or, or not pathing, Goliath attack maneuvering and things like that. Because you can get canceled, you know, because they're not smart units. But mostly, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. I'll hold my tongue, and we will see operations from here. Pum looks like opening up I assume with a 12 hatchery because we've seen no movements to go ahead and grab a spawning pool as of yet. Barracks being built interior to Advil's base. It looks like the Overlord is making its way to get potential... I, I don't know what to call Overlords when they're scouting across the map because it's not exactly first scout. SCV making its way to the left. So potentially going to scout Pum's base last. Advil back in Hasu League. And actually, when I look at the field, I think one of the stronger contain, uh, contenders. I feel like Fisheye is really strong in this grouping. I actually almost want to see if I can get a slew of Gosu League replays, because it's been... Because of the mixture of players up there, it's a lot of the Hasu League graduation, it almost feels like, into Gosu League this season. Gasping Mind in earnest, which makes me believe that potentially Advil is thinking about mech play. Certainly not thinking about an early command center. Maybe he has something else in mind, getting a little bit faster tech. Spawning pool and extractor up. For Pum, I assume to go towards Mutalus play, and yeah, we are seeing a factory first. One base factory play. I like to see it. Potentially a 1 1 1. First Marine out, wanting to keep that drone away, that Overlord's going to be key, so that Overlord, and I love what Advil's doing here, just keeping this SAV, SAV near that natural expansion to give the impression as though this was going to be a expansion, layer on the way, a few Zerglings out. And it looks like it might just be one factory into expansion. And so with an initial vulture, because SCV's pulled off gas to get some more minerals to get that expansion up. I have to assume that Pum, yeah, building the creep colony because no bunker out front, no additional Marines are staging at a forward location. So good read, good eyes by Pum. First vulture now in production. Gas pumping once again. So now it is effectively a macro race. SCV trying to stay in the main to get the timing of the lair. Always helpful. And also to just make sure that we're seeing drones being produced and nothing else. First Vulture making its way across with the Sun Colony position as long as that ramp is blocked. Should be fine. Spire actually dropping at the natural to try to deny a bit of timing information here from Advil. Vulture looks like it's going to hold up short. No counter pressure of any kind thus far from Pum. Second Vulture being produced. And I'm expecting a second factory as soon as Advil has the minerals to fuel it. Second gas being grabbed. Great scouting here by Advil. Definitely doing a great job keeping this SCV alive. Has the Spire time. I think knows without the third hatchery here that it is, in fact, going to be Spire. Five health left. Third hatchery being grabbed at the 12 o'clock location. Barracks landing to create a bit of a clog on the front. And four vultures now. Outside the natural expansion. 
the very least going to deny any Zerglings the ability to sneak out, but a little bit lazy in their job because they didn't catch that drone, and it takes a long time to take down hatcheries. So not going to be able to stop that 12 o'clock base from coming online, which would have been huge in this particular matchup because this is going to now be a macro race. Armory up, plus one armor to help deal with those Mutalisks. Engineering Bay, plopping down first Goliath, taking the field right as the Spire is coming online. Looks like I missed some Vultures getting a lot of kills of the natural expansion. I'm tempted to rewind it, but I will leave it be. A little bit of blood on the ground. Vultures have taken some damage, but I know there's at least two kills that happened there. And it wasn't Zerglings, because I think that's all there was on the field. So able to get some drone kills, which will be critical here, because it's essentially a macro race. Right now, though, Advil, without a huge amount of anti-air, this is a critical moment. It looks like trying to hide one of the turrets underneath that engineering bay to create some defense there. Mutals chasing down the Vultures, able to wipe them out. Vulture, I think, was able to confirm that 12 o'clock location. Otherwise, trying to hide in the corner. Goliath at a forward location for Advil to potentially engage the Mutals should they come from the north. The Overlord looks like it is on the edge and able to confirm that. Vulture taken out the 12 o'clock location. At least it's able to confirm that there's a sunken colony there, which means there's going to be need to be larger vulture numbers to press through right now advil doing a pretty good job of grouping up defending himself not overexpending resources at this stage pum moving forward with the mutalisk is going to see what he can get done charon boosters are finished the goliaths do need to group up to engage these mutalisks looks like there are going to be well eight except one of them kind of Blade in the background. Goliath's not in position to go ahead and defend this SCV. However, the Goliath charging forward, able to get some good solid damage on the Mutalisks before they are able to exit. The Mutalisks trying to pick off the Goliath. Goliath's moving back to the turret coverage. Not really any focus fire, so there's a huge spread of damage across all of Pum's Mutalisks, which actually is going to be an advantage. Easy can regroup, re-engage. Advil leaving the, the Goliaths at the natural expansion. The numbers are increasing. We have three factories pumping units. Right now, no economic damage on Advil's side, aside from those two SCVs that were constructing. Another turret being placed along that edge. The Mutalisks looking to dive in once again. Getting only a single shot on the supply depot. SCVs repairing the Goliaths along the way. Another group of mules to the north maybe trying to attack the natural expansion, but Goliaths are not that far away to group up and defend that. However, it looks like they're right now Advil feeling like, hey, maybe I got enough units to make this happen. Mutalisks, decent micro, I got to say, in lag, able to get several SCV kills. The Goliaths now grouping up and engaging. However, if Advil just moves out and allows reinforcing Goliaths to go ahead and defend that natural expansion, he can just kind of walk up to the main. And I don't know that Pum has enough to defend this. Dropping creep colonies now. At least that'll create some distance from that back sunken colony. Overlord wiped out on the way. Goliaths chewing through everything. It looks like they're going to just walk up to the 12 o'clock location rather than dealing with the natural expansion. Two, two more sunken colonies being morphed here. Another Overlord taken out that's putting Pum in the red. Two Sunken Colonies morphing. Mutalisks are here to help defend. But Advil, not liking the timing, going to go ahead and back out. Giving Pum some opportunity to rebuild. The Mutalisks diving in in equal numbers to the Goliaths. So if you're ever wondering, in a heads, well, 10 versus 12. So the Mutalisks potentially should win here. Advil stutter-stepping his way across. And it's going to end up with his Goliath cleaned up. More Goliaths moving across the field. They do have plus one armor. Plus one weapons isn't there yet. But right now, Pum looking strong. Has four bases in his control. 
There are five factories now pumping Goliaths. One siege tank is going to be out. Plus one weapons is going to finish in not too long, but was able to at least wipe out that Goliath army. However, in order to take games with Terran as mech, you really need to punch through, make something happen. Big supply lead for Advil currently. Which means that army is at least equal in supply with the STV differential. Mech is expensive. So losing those armies is significant. Overlord being pushed back over that corner. Still full group, full control group of Mutalisks gathering across. Now a siege tank, plus one weapons, plus one armor being escorted towards the front. And this is going to be five factories of Rally Goliaths making their way up. More than a control group of Mutalisks, however, pressing in towards Advil's main. Let's see if this draws the Goliaths back. Could potentially end up as a base race situation. That turret completely wiped out. Advil ignoring everything, just proceeding forward. Building turrets on the front. One control group of Mutalisks being left, the second control group being dr drawn back. Siege tank now on the low ground in position. All of the Mutalisks coming home. First Sunken Colony down. Second Siege Tank. Sorry. Spoke too soon. Now down. Second Siege Tank pressing up. More turrets being placed. Mutals trying to cut off reinforcements. And able to do so. Once... One Creek Colony remaining. The Goliaths now just attack moving into it. Some Vultures are also at the 12 o'clock location, potentially to attack, and now the control group of Mutalis pressing in, but that is an overwhelming amount of Goliaths. Obliterating the Mutalis force. More Mutalis coming in from the rear. Pum realizing he does not have enough to defend, so that is going to be GG. So we're going to see Advil move on to the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.